All right, welcome to part one of a video series on building a web app with retrieval augmented generation in ChatGPT. Um, so let's start out with what retrieval augmented generation is. So when you go to ChatGPT, you know, by default, you're talking to the model, um, you know, it's trained on a, a vast amount of data and uh, you're going to get, you know, pretty good responses because of, of the data it's trained with. Um, but it doesn't know, you know, anything personalized about, you know, your business or maybe the domain that you're interested in. Um, if you wanted to, you know, have your company's uh, document repository, if you wanted to have your, you know, your own personal documentation and be able to ask questions about it, you know, ChatGPT isn't going to have the answers because it, it's trained on you know, a repository of internet data, but it's not going to know, you know anything specific to your use case. So what retrieval augmented generation is in its, uh, at a base level is being able to query your own data uh, in some way and then to take that query data in the back end and send it along to the uh, the LLM and effectively treat it not as a treat the LLM not as a data repository in itself, um, but treat it more as a word calculator. Treat it as something that can take the information in your data store and talk to it and let you interact with it um, a little bit more efficiently. So, what we're going to be building here, um, and this is. Uh, this is a little bit of a different approach in this video because I'm actually building it as a bolt-on, as an addendum to someone else's uh, video series with permission. So over here, uh, Daniel Bork uh, put together an awesome, you know, local retrieval local retrieval augmented generation rag from scratch tutorial. It's a little under six hours long. And he basically walks through, you know, the theory of RAG, um, how you, you know, why you would use it, how you would use it. And, you know, you're going to build a full RAG pipeline um, out in Jupiter. So, uh, and he also does all of this uh, locally. So he's using a local, um, a local LLM, you know, something that can run on your machine. It does take a fairly ridiculous amount of memory. Uh, when I ran it, it took about 18 gigs of GPU memory. So you can't really run this without a, a 3090 or a 4090 or something you know similarly um, powerful. Um, or you'll get slightly worse or slower results trying to run it with something you know a little less, uh, a little less beefy there. Um, so you know this was an awesome, awesome uh, walkthrough. I enjoyed it. Um, I hopped down here in the comments and got permission to, uh, you know, go ahead and throw together my own add-on, um, and that is what we're doing now. So this is taking this project, or you know, a lot of the code and concepts from this project, and actually turning it into a web app. Um, so that's sort of the, you know, the educate the full theory of RAG education video, which I highly recommend you go watch. Um, and then this is going to be, hey, we've got those concepts, we've got, um, you know, some of that code, and we're going to take it and build this app I've got here, which I've called The Librarian. So this uh, is basically you're going to upload, you know, files. Um, these should be books, preferably. So, you know, you can upload a file, um, and then you can ask the librarian questions that have data from those files. So in this uh, here, we're going to go ahead and just say, I've uploaded a medical text, which is what was used in the original video. I've also uploaded a math textbook. So I'm going to say, can you tell me about diabetes? And what this is doing is this is using a semantic search to go and look up um, related information in this human nutrition text.pdf. Um, here it's giving me the references so we can go and check uh, that it, you know, what its references were. 
and it's ordering them by relevance. And then it's taking this data and sending it off to ChatGPT. Um, we're using 3.5 Turbo in this case. And ChatGPT is putting together a response based on that data. Diabetes is a metabolic disease that can be in two main types. Um, if you wanted to, you know, go, I can go ahead and pull up the code for a moment here. So I'll go to page 1151. And right here, we have what is diabetes. So it went and found, you know, the description um, of diabetes, since that's the thing I asked for. And it sent that description along to ChatGPT so that it was able to, you know, more accurately answer the question. Now, to be fair, if you went to ChatGPT and asked it this question, it would, it would give you a pretty good answer anyway. Um, but if you think about this in terms of data that it doesn't have, you know, a book that just came out, a, uh, you know, again, your company's, you know, database of, of client information or, or whatever it is that you're interested in being able to query, um, that's, where, that's where this has a lot of value. It also has some value in the sense that uh, you, can, you can get the LLM to be less wrong. Um, you know, LLMs by default are giving you the statistically most probable next word, which is right most of the time. Um, but if you have you know, a trusted source of information and can feed that in to the LLM along with your query, which is what RAG is, then you're going to get much better res or much more um, accurate results, results you can be more confident in. So, you know, maybe in a situation like this where you want medical information, um, you want to know that you're not just getting the statistically most probable answer, you're getting the answer that is, uh, is actually coming from the medical textbook, which, and, you know, and you're getting it with references. You're getting the data, and then you're also seeing a, hey, if you want to validate what it said, go look here. Um, if we look for some of the other books, just to show that this can do multiple books, um, I can say, can you tell me about functions? Maddox. And it's going to uh, give me a description special kind of relation where no two ordered pairs have the same first coordinate and uh, it's going to give me the page numbers so right here it's precalculus 2 e webpdf and I could go and find that text and go to page 16 and we should see something about functions mm. let's see Ah, okay, it's that I didn't scroll down far enough. So yeah, right here, page, uh, let's go back to 16. Introduction to functions. So, you know, right here, it went, it found data on functions, and it sent that along to ChatGPT to, uh, you know, give it an accurate, accurate information to answer the question with. If I looked for something that's probably not in either of our books, um, like uh, how does an airplane wing keep the plane in flight? It's going to say the data didn't include the answer and uh, it apparently pulled another book that I had uploaded and gave us some fake um, you know, some references that, that don't really make sense. So basically, ChatGPT, it pulled the closest semantic thing. I'm guessing the words flying popped up in the Harry Potter.pdf. Um, so it returned, you know, that as the most relevant data. And ChatGPT went, yeah, the data didn't, didn't have your answer. Um, and I've done some, some uh, tuning here, some... Uh, um, prompt engineering, I guess you could call it, to make sure that, you know, ChatGPT isn't going to return an answer it's not sure of based on the data. Um, so it's not, I've specifically told it not to go back to its its general database. I've said, hey, you know, I, I want I want you to draw inf information from the, the data that I've handed you and nothing else. 
so it's smart enough to say, you know, hey, the data didn't include the answer. Um, so with that, that is, uh, that is how the app works. In the next video, we're going to uh, go ahead and start, you know, start coding it out. Um, I did go ahead and upload, uh, this is a Flask web app. I went ahead and uploaded the templates and static uh, folders. So that's going to be your HTML and your CSS, just so we don't have to type all of that out. That will be on GitHub. And I will link that to the description or, uh, you know, in the video description. Um, and then I also really would recommend going and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to build a complete solution here. You know, if you uh, stick with me through the next few videos, we will, we will build out this uh, with, you know, RAG and ChatGPT entirely. Um, but if you have the time, I would highly recommend, you know, going back and watching the original uh, tutorial series. It's really, really good. Um, and if you've watched any of my videos, these are coding walkthroughs. These are not courses. Um, I'm not going to cover, you know, the full theory of anything we're doing. I'm going to show you how I used the concepts to build a specific solution. So um, you can watch that and then come back and watch this or, or watch this and you'll still get a ton of value out of that. Um, and I will link both the original video and, uh, and the GitHub in the video description. So with that, I will see you in the next build uh, video and we can start building.